Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So here we are back in the SFML RPG. Uh, I made some changes. I didn't really want to have to bother you guys with it. Um, basically, this is the enemy.h file. All I did was I, I, I uh, named the enemy spawner enemy spawner tile instead okay and that's what I did so just wherever you see these red things just go ahead and change that to tile you can just copy tile and paste it after so that that's that file excuse me uh, I thought we'd go file from from file to file so once that's done I want you to go down find tile map dot cpp I'm gonna right click compare with unmodified and I'm gonna show you where I modified stuff so this is the original file new enemy spawner at line 149 and the new one is enemy spawner tile that's basically it if I scroll down line 307 new enemy spawner tile the old one is new enemy spawner okay H um, yeah just to include that's about it all I changed enemy spawner tile uh, so that's good that's good now this is the important part in the CPP file and H file for enemy spawner, I just named everything enemy spawner tile. From the top to the actual class, to all the you know functions, even to the comment, everything. Uh, that's the H file, the CPP file. I just wanted to change this include, all of these, just add tile after all of these. Don't forget, tile, 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 tile. So this is about it, not too much. And once that's done, you should be good and in the editor mode I just did uh, enemy spawner tile include here and that's in the H file all right so once you have fixed that all that stuff the plan for today is to actually be able to change these type the amount the time to spawn the max distance all that stuff we want to be able to change that uh, so so that we can actually add enemy spawners with different different values. So that's very nice. That's very good. That's very good. And also, when we actually add the uh, the tile, add tile, we are adding it of the type enemy spawner, but we're never actually giving it the values it it wants. Right? Pretty much not doing it. Nope. So we're gonna have to do that as well. Add enemy spawner or some function, and then it's gonna it's gonna automatically kind of do that. So you know what? We could actually start with that. We can go to tilemap.h, and we have our add tile. Um, and I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna paste it below, and it's still gonna be named add tile. But now we're gonna check what are the things we need to actually add the tile so I open the CPP file up for tile map and I'm gonna go down to where I add a tile uh, add tile right here so if the type is enemy spawner I want X Y Z I want the grid size F the tile sheet which is already existent the texture rectangle and then the four values so let's copy this because that's gonna that's gonna help us out a little bit. Uh, here we go, and good. So once we copy that, let's just define our other add tile to X Y Z. We're gonna remove collision. It's gonna instantly become another function. Yep, define that, and then here we are. I'm gonna actually control X this out and do this remove that so this is the regular add tile now and this is going to be to add the enemy spawner so we'll keep the if statement um, also we need to actually copy this add a tile you know I'm going to comment this out I don't want to see that every time copy this if statement here and put that above everything what is happening here we go okay so sorry it's a little tedious but once that's done 
now we can actually check where we are in the world and now we can start changing these values here so let's start off with that XYZ okay very nice push the enemy spawner at position XY grid size F tile sheet texture rect type we're not gonna need type so I'm gonna remove that we're gonna need const int whoops const int uh, enemy type and I'm going to put these below so it's easier to see enemy type const int enemy amount const int um, what else can we see here enemy amount enemy time to spawn enemy max distance so constant enemy TTS const int enemy MD max distance good so now when you have all of these we can just copy this beautiful set of parameters and put them here so that it doesn't flip out now we can use the same function to kind of add an enemy spawner and that's good then we don't have to make a function that can take all different things all right so that's the good thing we can remove type from here um actually you know what we'll keep that we'll keep that we'll work on that later we'll make another tile type called do that later or some anyway um this is good this is good all right okay we can remove this if statement since it's bugging out and just save that there okay so now we can add this now we need to change all of these values here arguments enemy type enemy amount enemy TTS and enemy oh, MD MF for real MD okay there we go so that's done that's good uh, now we can use this now we go back to our default editor mode no enemy editor mode and we're gonna check out our add tile here we go so once we add the tile here we're not doing this version we're doing another version removing that and let's see so X Y not collision X Y okay here we go X Y constant Z um, yeah that is this layer okay we don't have the layer yet this we'll just set it at zero constant texture rectangle collision we don't want collision so what we want is the this enemy god damn it enemy what is happening to me guys enemy enemy good lord have mercy I just know this in here okay that is good that is good okay okay all right so So, okay, all right, so to make this work, obviously, uh, we're going to have to do add those variables here, this type, and I'm going to put this below so it's easier, this amount, this is confusing having variables named like this, this time to spawn, this max distance, okay, but still, it does work and that makes it so I can add enemy spawners once that is done your enemy spawner thing should be good and if we just run this quickly and load up our map add a few enemy spawners we should see that it works so editor escape load uh, you know what I'm just going to remove all of these 
and then add some enemy spawners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're just gonna save, load. Okay, they didn't crash. New game, we still have them here. Quit, quit. Now we're gonna check that out. Uh, where is it? 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 So six, seven. Pretty much, pretty much. Yep, yep, yep. Six, one thousand, one thousand. Yeah, that's the distance. So it did work. It did work. Very good, very good. Uh, once that is done, wait, let me check that out. One thing. Yeah, okay. All right. Once that's done, you know it's saving. You know it's fine. It's saving the values. Now we need to change those values somehow. And to do that, we're gonna have to register stuff. We're gonna have to register key presses in order to change these values. So my idea is we have four values and to change them I'm gonna use one two three four and hold down shift to go in the minus direction right so we're gonna have to add one two three four to our configuration go ahead and edit that um, and then type up MD up is four so once you set those should be good now once that's done we need to do supported keys and we need to do one two three four and if you guys remember how to check it it was this way sf keyboard one num okay here we go num one 27 28 okay from 27 to 28 everything let's see so 27 30 I guess we're gonna have to have the num thing before here so we don't mess it up num one two three four and we have this open so we're just gonna say num one two three four now we'll have these as our supported keys now we can use those in our game good nice uh, update input toggle very nice very nice okay cool that's in the default so I'm just gonna copy this stuff and put that in here update input here just right below this okay good but now instead of this we're gonna do if um, type up if this type is less than a hundred I'm guessing probably don't want to have more than a thousand types whatever this type plus plus um, and here we're gonna do if this if keyboard is key pressed also at the same time uh, which one is it? Our shift, right shift, I guess. Then else, if this type is less than, we're just gonna do that. So this type minus minus. If this type is greater than zero, then we're gonna decrease that type. So hopefully you understood that. Shouldn't be too complicated. Um, Else, if it's not shift, we're going to check if it's less than a thousand, we'll do plus. Otherwise, we won't do anything. Um, or else, you can do else this type equals zero. So, just resets it back to zero if it's greater than a thousand. Um, nice. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this whole thing again. And then we're just going to remove all of these other things. And say else if... Now, instead of type up, we're going to say amount up. And now you can just change this to amount. See how easy that was? And we're going to do another copy. TTS up. Uh, make sure all of these are replaced. Otherwise, you're going to have issues. Amount type to, time to spawn. And then what was the last one? max distance okay 
I will just remove this. We'll actually add tile lock in a bit, but at least this should make sure that we can uh, we can do stuff. We can add our stuff. Okay, so I loaded in the map, went in here, and now we can increase the type, the amount, the time to spawn, and the max distance. If I hold down shift, if I hold down, okay, it's right L R shift. Why did I do right shift? It's left shift. God damn it. Okay, L shift or whatever you want. Actually, you can have a R shift if you want. You can have control if you want. Doesn't matter. I'll just use shift or alt. You can use alt as well. Uh, but that makes it so it goes in the minus direction. Hopefully, you could see that. There you go, guys and girls. That's about it for now. We can add stuff with different values in the next video we're actually gonna spawn enemies from these hopefully that will work just fine there you go we're getting somewhere with this game soon we have enemies then we can have attack then we can have all kinds of stuff particles and it's gonna be a big series so yeah there you go um yeah thanks for all the support thanks for sticking with me hopefully it's cool at the end hopefully we'll have a finished product a game with all kinds of stuff in it uh, so it's cool. I like coding it. Hopefully you like watching it. I know it's a long series. Not a lot of people want to watch a long series like this. But for those of you who are here, thank you very much. And best of luck, best of luck to you guys. Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, just take care. Keep learning. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.